If you need Madden coins on any platform, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. For a limited time only, use code CLICKWID for 20% off your entire order. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team pack opening video. Guys, today we have some awesome new stuff that is in the game. We have a new golden ticket. That is Telvin Smith. This card obviously is 99 overall. We're going to take a look at the attributes on this thing in just a moment, but I also want to point out there are a couple other 99 overalls that we can potentially pull today. Number one, we also have the Derek Brooks card, which is a boss card, and Emmett Smith. Again, we tried to pull those yesterday. We were unsuccessful. Going to get it give it another shot today and then there's also a Mitchell Schwartz 99 overall movers card that came out today along with a couple other pretty nice movers cards Sean Smith I think is one of them I think he's like 96 overall those cards are going for a decent amount as well so hopefully we can pull something like that um, definitely nice cards in the game right now though so first thing that I want to do though is go ahead and take a look at this Telvin Smith all right, guys, so here is the Telvin Smith, guys. This is a 99 overall, like I said, golden ticket card. A lot of people are talking about this potentially being the best card in Madden right now. Probably one of the better golden tickets without question. Definitely an absolute beast. If you take a look at some of these attributes, guys, it is absolutely ridiculous. First of all, shout out to uh, TVV Itter Juice. So it looks like Twitter Juice. Uh, but anyway, uh, he's the one who created it. 93 strength. He's six foot three as well, which is pretty good for a linebacker. 98 speed with 99 acceleration. You guys know I love speed in this game and any Madden game. And this card definitely gets the job done in that area. Solid awareness at an 86. Could be better for a golden ticket. But um, I don't think the guy chose to upgrade awareness. And quite frankly, I don't blame him because he made some great decisions elsewhere. Um, let's see here. His catching also I want to point out. 85 for catching is very, very good for a linebacker. 99 tackling. Absolutely ridiculous. 86 jumping is good for a linebacker. And then you go down here at some of these other attributes. His finesse moves are a 97 that is absolutely crazy um, his power moves are a 76 which isn't good but he's going to kind of default to it uh, doing the, the uh, finesse move for the most part anyway block shedding at a 95 so he's going to be good against the run pursuit is great play recognition is great his man coverage this is a linebacker with 92 man coverage insane absolutely insane zone coverage at a 97 again crazy crazy stuff 96 for stamina so he's not going to get tired 97 for hit power nothing over 100 but just a ton of attributes in the high 90s and on defense that is absolutely awesome so again this is definitely one of the best cards in the game right now hopefully we can get it done today and pull this card all right, so without further ado, guys, we're going to go in here and we're going to open up some packs. We're going to open up a bunch of pro packs, and then I think we're going to go ahead and end it with two Ultimate Legend packs today. Um, I, I mean, obviously, we didn't have great luck before, but the Ultimate Legend pack that I opened yesterday was definitely the best of the things that I pulled. I think I pulled a couple of really nice cards that pretty came pretty close to actually getting me my coins back for the Ultimate Legend pack. So, uh, And with there being four 99s that we could potentially pull today, I think we got to give it ourselves a chance and go with maybe two two ultimate legend packs so uh let's go in guys and let's open up a bunch of these pro packs pro packs a lot of times are things that'll get you pretty good cards so um hopefully we can make it happen today with just some pre with some standard pro packs starting off with an 80 overall fullback so not much but you know that's just madden this year Continuing on, another pro pack here, 7,500 coins as always. I wish maybe someday they would like drop the price for a day or something on these uh, on these standard pro packs. Got two golds in this one, but really nothing good. That would be kind of cool though, wouldn't it? Like if like for a day they made the pro packs like I don't know 5,000 or something like that, so you could maybe get like I don't know what five for the price of uh, four essentially. If you you know if you go down and break down the price. But I don't know, man. It, I, I just wish that eventually that they would, you know, lower the price a little bit. I guess it would be what? Two for, no, yeah, three for the price of two. Um, so I don't know, man. I, I mean, that would be cool, though, if they could, like, reduce the price on those a little bit and give us more opportunities to pull more packs just for a day or, like, a, a happy hour type of thing. Remember when we were going to have happy hours when they added the points to the game? I think that was last year. Yeah, about that, right? About that. <laughs> we haven't seen one damn happy hour in two years of Madden. I've never seen a happy hour. Uh, and I started playing in Madden 25. So, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with that. Maybe it'll come back. Probably not. It doesn't seem like. But uh, we're still going to continue and pull Pro Packs. Trying to get one of these freaking 99s, man. I, I haven't pulled a 99 all year. It would be amazing to make it happen just once this season. Come on. 
this would be the time to do it too because this Telvin Smith card is absolutely crazy. We're still continuing to pull just crap for the most part. Haven't pulled anything good yet. We're, what, four packs in, so I'm not really too surprised about that. I've been starting to see that we're probably pulling, like, a base elite, which, again, isn't worth anything. But a base elite, probably one out of every, I don't know, ten packs or something. So, still not very good odds. As we get a Steven Goskowski 80, 88 overall kicker there, that card might actually be worth something. I mean, it's only a gold, of course, but um, some of the higher overall gold kickers actually go for a decent amount. We'll quick add this NFL draft badge to our set I'm trying to build up a couple of those. I don't know how close I am. Probably at like eight or something like that. So hopefully we can get maybe one or two of those uh, to fill out that. And if we do, if we get to the amount that we need, we'll pull the gold player pack. Not that there will be worth anything, I'm sure. But, you know, it's definitely worth it to, to open it up and maybe we can get something good. Still nothing though, man. Still nothing out of these packs so far unless that Goskowski is worth a lot. Which, again, I don't think it is. But um, So continuing on. Come on. Carlos Dunlop, still nothing good out of these packs. It's kind of weird, though. You are getting a lot more of, of the uh, double gold packs, which is nice, at least if you're doing, like, uh, taking the gold cards and putting them into the gold uh, badge sets and, uh, you know, then taking those sets and turning them into large quick sells, which, by the way, guys, uh, I'm not sure if we're going to be posting it tomorrow or Tuesday, uh, but, and when I say tomorrow, it would be Monday, but... We did do actually two large quick sell wars with that dude Sly. So one is going to be on my channel. One is going to be on his channel. So go over and check out his channel. Again, that dude Sly. We did t 10 large quick sells. Um, got some good stuff in those. So there we go. We get two NFL draft badges. Hopefully we get the uh, set completed here. Um, but yeah, that dude Sly has uh, a nice channel. And I, I think you guys will enjoy those videos that we did. Let's see if we're any closer. Still haven't finished it, I don't think. So maybe like, I feel like we're like one or two away with those uh, stupid badges. It's kind of weird that those are still in packs, by the way. And they're still, they're worth just absolutely crap, by the way. Which, I mean, okay, that's fine. But I would almost rather have like a silver badge or something. You know what I mean? Like, it would be so nice to just have something that's like worth something at least. Come on. Still nothing. Golden Tate. Yikes, dude. These are these are some brutal packs. Maybe we'll pull two more pro packs, and then we'll get to our ultimate legend packs. Um, maybe if we get the badge now, we'll we'll end it. I don't know. But uh, the draft badge, I mean, if we pull one of those here, which we did not. We got a Rodney Hudson. All right, one more pro pack, guys. And then we're going to move on to the ultimate legend packs. We'll do two of those, like I said. That should give us a good opportunity at those golden tickets um, and the other things in the game as well. The, um, the movers, and, of course, the ultimate legends. So, all right. We're going to go with the ultimate legend packs here. Again, guys, if you're unfamiliar, I'm going to go back here and uh, just show what these actually contain. If you guys have not opened up any of these yet, you actually get eight gold or better players, and you get a guaranteed ultimate legend item, which is typically one of the ultimate legend badges, which right now, because they've been in the game for quite a few days now, those things are going for like 10K. I think typically they get more toward about the 20K range. So if you hold on to them, you're probably going to save uh, some coins versus selling them right away. But uh, even still, guys... We've got four other player and team items as well, which is just like the playbooks and crap like that. But it's those eight gold or better items and the guaranteed ultimate legend item that will give us our chance. So here we go, guys. How many of these can we open? We got four left. Okay, so we got two right now. And uh, if things go well, we might do another pack opening video and do the final two. So with that being said, guys, 100K. Wish me some luck. Let's go. Come on. One damn time. Come on. Let's go. Jabal Sheard. Okay. Sammy Hill. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Crap, crap, crap. David Johnson, we get a Tremaine Brock Final Edition. I don't think that's going for a whole lot right now. It's only a 91 overall Final Edition. So it's not a great pull, but it's at least an Elite. That's the first Elite that we've gotten in today's packs. Get the NFL Draft Badge here, so we'll throw that into the set. Come on, man. I don't think we got anything good here. So we get a Terrell Suggs Team Collectible. I don't think that's going for much either. Terrell Suggs, one of the cheaper... Uh, ultimate legend items, so I don't think that would probably be going for much, but we'll see. Um, not a great ultimate legends pack, man. Definitely a bunch of crap in here for sure. Um, unless I'm mistaken for some reason in this Tremaine Brock or something's going for a lot. I don't think it is. So, all right, there we go. We got the uh, we did get the gold rookie player, so we'll open up that as well. Again, probably not going to be anything worth anything. So I don't even know how to pronounce this guy's name. He looks like a beast, though. Look at this dude, Jermaine Ifedi. 
I don't know. You guys will have to correct me in the comments section below. And also, guys, let me know in the comments section below. What do you think about this golden ticket tr today? Do you think that this is the best golden ticket that we've had all season? Or uh, or is there something else that you like better? Let me know in the comments section below. All right. Final pack of today's video, guys. Wish me some luck. Come on. First card is the Ultimate Legend badge. Like I said, going for about 10K right now. So that's not a great pull. But, you know, something that we, something that we can at least make use of and, and sell off. Mitch Morse, EJ Gaines, come on. Dude, I can't believe how many just crap pulls that we have. Come on. Look at this garbage. This is the final card, man. This is a brutal pack unless we pull a golden ticket or an ultimate legend uh, boss right now. So I don't think that we're going to get anything, but hopefully we do. Let's go. And it's Chris Ivory. Absolutely awful. Oh, what a pack opening video. Just garbage. Hot garbage. What did you guys get in your pack opening videos? Let me know in the comments section below. And be sure to click the like button below, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. And I will talk to you guys again soon.